Hey guys, we are continuing having fun with Witcher 3 side quests. Now, <laughs> I was doing one side quest on my own. I, I've been playing on my own in, in these past couple of days. Uh, a couple of things I need to update you on. Yeah, mostly I've been doing question marks, but also like occasional side quests. And I did that one side quest with a uh, paint, painting. And as you can see, this is what um, happened. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I'm on Roach. Oh, that's not even Roach. I'm on a, I'm on a random horse. <laughs> I thought it would be Roach. I literally picked that pose. Yeah, I think you don't know what I'm talking about. Or maybe you do know, but yeah, uh, I met this painter and I was helping him out. He wanted to paint me, uh, but he lost his paint. So I found them for him. Then he painted me and he let me pick a pose. They're free, lying down, being heroic or with Roach. And I didn't want to lie down because it, it looked sexual even with clothes on. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to I didn't want to be heroic because I don't think Geralt thinks of himself as um, heroic. So I also wanted to acknowledge Roach, Roach's meaning in Geralt's life. <laughs> but he painted a random white horse, so yeah, that didn't happen. And he painted me naked. So there I am, naked on a horse, with a sword and a dead griffin. That's my painting. Yeah, but I was broke at the time. I've been gathering money and I bought myself Grandmaster Feline um, armor. That's me. <laughs> and I painted it white. It's actually embarrassing what I did to get that white uh, dye because it was well hidden in a castle with like, I don't know, like 50 bandits and I had to kill all of them to get that white dye. <laughs> then I had to spend all my money to well, find ingredients to make that white, white dye and then get my feline Grandmaster gear. So right now I definitely look like Ezio from Assassin's Creed. Even the surroundings like look like Milan, uh, whatever that, that, that game, uh, that, that the Assassin's Creed game was taking place in. Venice and all these Italian uh, cities. <laughs> I look like um, Ezio right now wearing all these white clothes <laughs> uh, from the side. It kind of looks like a dwarf because look at that hood. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it looks nice. Uh, basically, my idea is that I'm going to hang around to song for as long as possible. I feel like after everything that's happened uh, for Geralt, uh, he wanted to take some time off. Uh, but I will be going back to Novigrad, Velen and other places like Skellige at one point. It's just I feel like Geralt is not quite ready to go back there. But I will do a video about my favorite areas in Witcher 3, so do stick around. I'm sorry, I've been talking for such a long time. Let's buy that bloody painting. I was sort of uh, broke, so I couldn't buy it. And now I have money, so I will buy it. it it's ridiculously expensive. A thousand coins. Witcher, greetings. I've been on pins and needles. I take it you've come for the painting. Yeah, okay. I will buy it. Oh my god, look at me. Look at me. I look so so awesome. I look so handsome. Look. Look at all these clothes. I don't look like a potato bag. Okay, that's what my friend Lucas said. I don't look like a potato bag. <laughs> yeah, I look I look just fine. I look Ah, look at that. Yeah, anyway, I will buy that painting and I will hang it in my bedroom so Jennifer, who's always there, I can look at it when I'm not there. <laughs> Why not? It'll make an interesting memento, though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. <laughs> Indeed, few have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I sometimes go hungry as a consequence. Mm, all right. At least this way I'll be able to control who sees it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. <clears throat> okay, I want to do another art related art related quest. And if I understand this one correctly, goodness gracious, great balls of granite. I think I'll be actually looking for, uh, well, to be literal, balls. <laughs> but yeah, that's fine. We're going to do that because it's art related. But first, let's go back home to Corvo Bianco. Let's go back to Corvo Bianco and hang that uh, painting. Hang that painting in our... Well, bedroom. There's a question mark so close to my home. Maybe we should check it out too. It's actually nice that I changed my color palette because Yennefer did too. She says she won't be wearing black as much. So here I am doing the same thing. 
Let's go and hang the painting. Armor stand. Yeah, let's put that Grandmaster Woven thing here. Won't be wearing that anytime soon. We're back to feline. That's right. A weapon rack. I'm going to take it and I'm going to place Iris in there. Yeah, that's really nice. And I, I think we're literally out of... Yeah, we're out of places we could place our swords. Too bad. Because I do have um, a sword I'd like to... Yeah. Well, never mind. I'm going to place them in my bedroom. See, but I like that painting. That's White Orchard. That's where everything started. And it reminds me of Vesemir. So, no, I'll leave that painting in here. I will stash some of my swords, which are ones. Yeah, let's stash that. I also really like that iris painting. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. I don't know what to do now. Okay, I'm going to take the white orchard painting and place it somewhere in the house. Take, and I'm going to hang um, portraits of Geralt in here. <laughs> so Yennefer, when she comes over, uh, she can look at it and I'm going to hang the white orchard painting somewhere in the house and yeah so everyone can see that for example I think this one is not important enough to have it over here we're going to place a white orchard painting in here and then I'm going to swap a painting upstairs I think that makes sense if there's a painting in here at all. Yeah, there's a painting. That's a uh, herbalist ad. Ah, that's boring. Let's place that in here. <gasps> Look at that! I mean, if this is Yennefer's dress, then we actually would like look alike. Look, we would actually look so nice. <laughs> like a happy couple, though I don't think this is Yennefer's room. Since we're together, we, we share a bedroom. Uh, where is she? From the blood is that Yennefer? Where was she? Look at her. She's just randomly walking around. What the hell? Oh my god, look, I caught her going to the bedroom. Um. <laughs> oh, she was staring at the painting. <laughs> ah, that was so random. What? Wait. <laughs> so she was just standing there staring at the painting and then she lied down. Okay, well, I guess that's her routine. I'm going to sleep at 7 a.m. God knows where she was. I think she was out partying in Beauclair. <laughs> Gosh. There's so many things going on. I upgraded so many things right now. Yeah, anyway, let's go and see what is happening right here. That's so close to... Um, what am I fighting? Oh! Ew. Oh! Can't see anything. Oh, there you are. So many of them, though. Um Oh, I think they're all dead. Arcus boys will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Okay. Oh, this is just like a monster nest, but not a monster. <laughs> what? What is that? Letter to father. Dearest father, it's done. I've been knighted. Your efforts have not gone in vain. I've fulfilled our shared dream. Can you believe it? Your only son, a knight. Thank you for all these years of hard work and sacrifice. I know you refused yourself much to be able to afford to buy me a horse and armor. I know you worked very hard to allow me to live in Beauclair. This is why I dedicate my first quest to you, father. I shall exterminate some parasites prowling our main road. Slaying a dragon it is not, but I'm excited all the same. Your loving son. Michael Supercastle. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. 
gosh. Okay. That didn't go well. Yeah. Okay, we got some stuff out of it at least. Gonna go back to my fast travel sign and travel to Beauclair and talk to the art curator. That's what we're doing today. I don't know... Where is my herbs garden, by the way? Still didn't really find it. <laughs> Okay. Closed? Why, we wrote an entire day to see it. You're a cheat, sir. And we paid oh, good coins on the tickets. Move. Give it back. Your tickets remain valid. You must merely wait patiently for the exhibition to reopen. Okay, let's talk to the guy and find out what's the problem. Please disperse. The exhibition is closed. Makes sense that I'm wearing white clothes. There's a lot of sun in here. I don't want to be hot. I mean, I am, What's you know. What's this about? <laughs> oh, let me to give me strength. I can't bear this, please. I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh. Oh, wait. Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? Oh. I believe I have work for you. Mm -hmm. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interesting? Yeah. Uh, tell me. A statue. Just tell me what's the problem. A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. What's wrong with that lady? She looks like a snake. <laughs> Here it is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Dobry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman. Um. And atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm. So what's wrong with it? How uh. should I put this? It's lost oh. its jewels. Ah. <laughs> Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they oh. grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, it is thus. You must retrieve those stones. Um, Reginald, tell me what you know. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it, he and the architect Faramont plant and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. <laughs> he later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Um, any suspects? Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. <laughs> Who would not want it for himself? I mean, <laughs> fair enough. When? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Okay. It will all work out. It must. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's do that. That's odd. But this is what we're doing right now. The great girl of Brivia looking for... um. Well, balls. Why, Reginald, don't worry. Sound marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. <laughs> castration, you're saying? Okay, let's look for clues. Any more clues? Must be some clues. It will all work out. It must. Oh, there it is. There it is. A clue. Coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. 
smell it'll lead me to the thief interesting you know i always get confused when i'm following a sand somehow Problems. like i don't hire a witcher it's a good thing you've come where is it smell i lost it already ah so i can barely see that that's not fair that <laughs> It's not even red. They say a great deal about you, Witcher. Your reputation Sand leads to this door. God, what was that? What are they doing in there? I hope this is not where Yennefer was hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she took them. <gasps> oh, sorry to interrupt, I guess. Eh, uh, what the hell? This this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, and tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Hughes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> that's not my husband. Um... You mean, not... not your husband? Who are? And why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! Mm -hmm. Just wanna talk? Calm down. Just here to talk. I... I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I, I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves the body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. Stop, I'm no idiot. A hero, you say? That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh... I can explain everything. Um, this. Rosalinda! I knew <gasps> you're in there! You had that fancy pants of yours! Oh, jeez. Oh, no, not him, too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shellacking skeleton! What the love's this? <laughs> it looks really weird. Rosalinda! <laughs> one, I could forgive you, but two at one time! <laughs> Wait, uh, got nothing to do with this. Take me for a fool. I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond. Hey, I'm in a committed relationship. Hey, okay, I don't know where Yennefer was because she came back at 7 a.m., but we are still very much committed. Go home. <sighs> got no time for this. Go home. Y yes, that'll be best. I I'm done here. Very cool. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. So noble. Mm -hmm. So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. <laughs> All right. I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I, well, three times and counting. Oh, three God. Three times? Impressive. Uh. Isn't it? At my age, that's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. Fine, nope. Need to take them willing to lend them to you. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Need to take them. No chance. Need to take the stones, pure and simple. But... But if you were to leave them with me for, for a day or two... Uh, three at the most. Shit out of luck. Sorry. 
at the day's end. It's good I had a chance to use them at all. Here, take them. Thanks, and good luck. Actually think you'll do just fine without them. We are carrying around genitals, guys. That has never happened before. We used to do major quests. <laughs> and now we're doing that. Whoa. This is what it is. Wow. He's just sweeping. <laughs> okay. Well? Have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus, luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge. <laughs> Only house. Okay. Are we still doing something? No, we completed that quest. Is he going to like um, attach them or what? <laughs> oh yeah, he surely is. Let's meditate because I'm interested what's going to happen like tomorrow. <laughs> oh, he's still doing that, okay. God. <laughs> okay, there's no need to... <laughs> okay, yeah. Touch? <laughs> okay. Can't believe I'm actually doing this. <laughs> okay, we did that. I don't know why. <gasps> Wait, that gave me some sort of a power. Are you kidding me? What is that? Uh, I, I don't know what, what the hell happened, but I'm fine. I, I, just, I, I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into this, uh, read about that. Let's see what else is there to do. Wait, that's... Oh my god! <gasps> Poor Guillaume! Guillaume, oh no. what, what are you doing here? Leave me be. Without my Vivian, life has no meaning. You are the last to whom I wish to speak. Mm. Oh my god. Way to make me feel guilty, eh? Wow. You know what? Um, that was so optimistic. <laughs> I'm going to finish recording for now. I hope you enjoyed that little side quest. I'll be recording many more of these. I really enjoyed playing playing that. At one point, we're going to go back to White Orchard. We're going to make a sentimental trip, sort of, to go and see the pub where we saw Vesemir. And we're gonna go to Kaimoran and we'll basically hang around the old places. But for now, I think it's really best to stay in, well, uh, Tucson. And I think when we go back, we're going to change our clothes too. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my social media links down below and I'll see you around. Stay safe. Bye.